understanding too much information. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into a commonly used English phrase that might leave some learners puzzled. Too much information. Whether you've heard it in a conversation, seen it in texts, or come across it online, understanding this phrase will help you navigate English-speaking environments more effectively. Let's break it down together. At face value, too much information seems straightforward. It suggests that an excessive amount of details or facts has been provided. Imagine you're filling a cup with water. If you keep pouring after the cup is full, it overflows. Similarly, when someone shares more details than necessary, it can be overwhelming. Like the cup, our minds can only hold so much at once. However, the phrase often transcends its literal meaning. Too much information is frequently used in social contexts to indicate that someone has shared personal, sensitive, or inappropriate details that the listener finds uncomfortable or unnecessary. It's a polite way to say, that was more than I needed to know. Understanding through examples can be incredibly helpful. Let's explore a few. 1. During a casual conversation, a friend starts describing their medical history in graphic detail. You might respond with, wow, that's too much information for me. 2. At work or in professional settings, a colleague shares personal life stories that aren't relevant to the job. Saying, that might be too much information, signals that the conversation should remain professional. 3. Online and in-text messages, People often abbreviate the phrase to TMI when commenting on overshared posts or messages. While it's a useful phrase, it's essential to use too much information with sensitivity. It's about balance, respecting the sharer's openness while setting boundaries for your comfort. If you need to use it, do so with a kind tone and maybe offer an explanation to avoid hurt feelings. I hope this exploration of too much information enhances your understanding and confidence in using this phrase in English conversations. It's a small but significant part of navigating social interactions and respecting personal boundaries. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to our next learning adventure together.